Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the First Descendant. Today I want to talk a bit about the battle pass in this game and why I personally dislike it. What is very sad actually because I really love playing this game. I probably have like around 100 hours in now. That's quite a lot. The last time I played so much was when I started playing Dark Souls. So I really like this game and I would love to support the devs a bit more by, for example, buying the battle pass and not only buying skins. So as you can see, I'm level 96 this season. I'm already finished with the battle pass and I still haven't bought it as you also can see and so I just want to go over a few things I really like and a few things that I really dislike and that keep me from buying the, this battle pass and then at the end I would love to do like a conclusion where I'm basically saying hey if they change this and that then I think you would get better value out of the battle pass and so probably more people would buy it but yeah let's start first with the things I really like in this battle pass so the first thing I really like is like this battle supply shop basically there are seasonal challenges and your weekly challenge where you can get a certain currency you can see the in the top right corner and with this you can basically buy exclusive skins and they are free for everybody so i haven't bought the battle pass yet and i can still buy any of these skins i like and i really enjoy this the only problem currently is that we are not quite sure if you get enough of those credits to actually buy every skin or if you end up with like an uneven number and you have to make a few decisions on what you want and what you don't want so that's why I haven't bought anything yet and I'm just gonna wait until the last week of the season to make my decision since then I know I can get everything or I have to make some exceptions but I really love the skins here and I think that's really nice. So the next thing I really like in this battle pass is that the ultimate weapon we get new every season I hope we get a new one every season you actually get three of them for free this means that once the season is over and the weapon parts go over in the loot pool you only have to farm up two of them if you don't buy the battle pass and if you buy the battle pass you have all five but naturally yeah i also have to say i think they should just give us five of the guns for free i think it just makes sense otherwise if the gun that comes out is really overpowered and you need to basically get the gun and upgrade it four times to be able to do the content no players that play the game free to play are fucked by those that spend the 10 bucks on the game basically have an advantage so i think it's better if they just put in all five in the free pass and then maybe take out one or two skins i think this would be totally fine but yeah that's also something i like and that's already where the things i like with the season pass end so the first thing i really dislike in the season pass is that you can actually not get the season pass again if you play through it you need to spend 500 credits so 10 bucks and you only get back i think 300 i counted 300 or 350 so you're just shy of it and for the next season pass you have to spend another five bucks to buy this again so this basically means you have to spend 20 bucks every two seasons to get like the third season for free very bad system i hope in the next season they actually put in enough credits again that we you can just continuously buy the battle pass of course it's still better than what apex legends is currently doing but that's a whole nother topic the next thing i dislike is those xp gold and the resource you need to level up for your modules but the problem is the duration for me it's one day this means when i buy the battle pass i have to say okay you know what this saturday i'm going to grant the game for like 10 hours straight so that's when i'm activating it and i don't really see any use of this a way better option would be to basically say hey if you buy the premium battle pass you get those xp gains gold gains and you only get like five percent but it's for the whole season i think this would make a lot more sense than to give me like a descendant xp gain one day duration because then i have to go oh yeah this saturday i can play it and maybe i sit down i activate it and then suddenly oh there's an emergency so i can't play boom completely wasted the rewards now as for the rest what is in the season pass i think that's the same stuff you get everywhere basically you have some stickers you have some emotes i'm all fine with this now something i also dislike would be those bonus coins and the resource materials for one we can hop over into the bonus shop real quick this is completely useless especially with those prizes every time you like get one of those bonus coins you get like 30 of those and then again if i like level up the battle pass now over the limit i would also get 30 of those now this means 
means I would now need to go to level 99 to buy one of the fine adjustment control axes. You farm them and the game super easy. So I don't understand why the shop is there because it basically has no use for anybody that is actively playing the game. Plus the prices are also outrageous. If you would tell me like I get 100 bonus coins over the like 96 levels I'm playing and then you make it that one of those costs me like one or two then I could understand because this would be like a quick 50 fine adjustment control axis and since if you lock three elements or three rolls on your gun the fourth one to reroll then costs 25 so this would be like two rerolls would be perfectly fine but with this system currently it's just super useless then the next thing I really dislike would be the skins but here again the funny part is the three skins are actually very nice so this shotgun skin i think it's the shotgun i think looks really nice this lmg skin also looks really nice this i think it's an ar skin looks really sick and then we basically also this pistol skin if i were to use this pistol i would definitely rock the skin since it's super nice and then lastly this also this pistol skin they look really cool and then again we come to like the paid battle pass and this is the ultimate weapon skin you get at the end and you also have to pay for it and i'm just asking myself like this is the gold standard for them for what like the last skin in the battle pass should be then we are in for a rough time because this this looks super ugly in my opinion. This skin I would expect to see in like a free reward line. Like a skin like that I would rather see at like the last level of the season pass so that I know what I'm grinding for than whatever this skin is. I think it looks super ugly. That's also why I haven't really bought the battle pass yet because for me I'm basically spending 10 bucks for the last skin you basically get because this is supposed to be the best one but this isn't really worth 10 bucks for me and all the other stuff that in here like maybe yeah this maybe looks cool but some emotes and stuff this really isn't worth my money that's why i haven't decided on buying this yet and the thing is what i'm torn on is of course i want to support the game but i don't want to support the game by buying a product i don't like because if you buy a product you don't like the devs already get the money so there's no reason for them to improve the product they are selling to you now will i buy the battle pass well maybe but i'm not sure yet so let's shortly go over what i think they could do to actually improve it first of all keep the better supply shop but make it clear from the beginning if you can actually buy everything or not then get rid of the bonus shop or actually change the prices and then for the general battle pass first of all all the weapons should be free all five tiers so that you can basically level up the gun once complete then they definitely need to work on the skins also i want to see descendant skins since this is this is what i'm seeing most of the time a weapon skin is nice but i'm playing a third person shooter so naturally i'm looking more on my character then i look at my weapon and also something i really don't understand why that's not in here would be those crystallization catalysts and also those energy activators why are they not in the battle pass or season pass whatever you want to call it this would make the most sense even if they are like in the bite here let's say like the energy activators are reward level 95 before you get like a really nice skin for your gun or for your descendant this would actually make a lot of people buy this battle pass simply because they are hard to acquire i mean i got lucky as you can see i have two energy activator blueprints i got them back to back actually but for like normally i think in the shop they cost like 21 bucks for this ludicrous actually to pay 21 bucks for this so it would make a lot of sense to have energy activators and crystallization catalysts in the battle pass so that people actually get something out of the battle pass but now it's just this stupid shit so put in one energy activator at least at the end level 95 or if you make the battle pass go up to level 100 at like level 99 make sure descendant skins are in there and then i think a lot more people would actually buy the battle pass even though i see a lot of people running around with those skins so i don't know what their data shows but that's basically what i would love to see from them and i think that's actually pretty fair oh yeah and also those resource boosts make them like five percent but once you upgrade to premium you actually get them the whole season and i think a season will be like 60 days or 90 days so this would add even more value that's my personal opinion on the battle pass as i said before i'm beton on buying this current battle pass simply because i don't want to give them money if i don't really see any value in the product but on the other hand i also like to collect stuff and since this is a pre-season battle pass you probably never see those skins again so it would be nice to have them on my account but that's a different story now i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about the battle pass first of all have you bought the battle pass or are you torn on buying the battle pass or have you decided against it and what improvements would you love them to make to the battle pass going forward let me know down in the comments below and as always 
Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.